Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Residence Properties list with Tobar widget for Elementor. We showcase this widget in our demo tree. This is the one. And next I will show the steps that you need to take to create a similar section in your site. On this domain I have already created the section where the widget will be displayed. The first step will be to edit the page with Elementor. I will scroll down to the section that I made. I will look for the widget. This is the one. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. And now I will start making settings. In the top bar filters, you will need to add the elements that will show as filters. You will have one by default. I will start setting this one. In category terms field, you will need to select the category that will show under this filter. I will select apartments. Next, you will need to set the label that will be displayed here and you'll have the option to set an icon. You will be able to upload an SVG icon or select one from Font Awesome. For this tab, I will select an icon from Font Awesome. I will select a random one. The first filter is set. I will add a new one. You will have the same options. You will need to select the category. I will select a category from area this time. You will need to add the form field label. You will see it here and you will need to change the icon. I will select another icon from Font Awesome. I will add another element in this section. I will select the category. I will add the form field label. I will change the icon. I have three elements added as filters. I will add two more. I will add the form field label. I will change the icon. And now I will add the last element. I will select the category. I will add the form field label and change the icon. I am done with the top bar filter section. I will now go to the content section. Here you will have the option to add a title. If added, the title will show here. You will have the option to set the number of items that will show under each filter. Currently it is set to 9. And if a category has more than 9 properties, you will have the load more listings button. I will change it to 6. Also you have the option to change the number of items per row. You can change the type of alignment. You can set vertical or horizontal. I will change it back to vertical. You can set if the properties will be displayed in random order and you can change the sort by option by selecting one of the available options. I am done with this section as well. Next you will have filters section. Here you will be able to filter the properties shown by categories and also you will have show featured listings only. If this option is set to no then both featured listings and regular ones will be displayed and if you set it to yes, then only featured listings will be displayed in the lists. I will set it to no to display all properties. I am done with this section as well. Next I will go to the style section. Here you will be able to make design settings. I will start with the first option. Here you will be able to set values for top item content padding. Next you will be able to set the top item margin values. Also you can set the top item border radius. Going further, you will be able to set colors. I will set the color for top item background color, for top item font color, for top item active background color, for active top item font color. Next, I will set the top item typography. You can change the font size, the font weight and make other settings. Next, you can change the top item icon margin and change the icon colors. You will be able to set the icon size and set the icon position. You can set it above the label or before the label. I am done with the style setting as well. In advanced you will be able to make other settings. I will save the changes made and now I will go on front end and see the results. This is the section that I just created. 
This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.